Good evening, Philippines. I'm John Tristan Kafugawan, and I'm here to discuss the design equations for the Pak column. Before I discuss the design equations, I would like to discuss first the different parameters that are essential in determining the specifications of a Pak tower. The most important parameter is the liquid gas contact. It is where the gas should be in contact with the liquid phase. It should be an intimate contact to, ad to have a high efficiency. Some factors that affect this parameter are channeling, loading, and flooding. Channeling is the gas or liquid flow is much greater at some points than at others. The loading phase is the liquid flow is reduced due to it, the increased gas flow. It is where the liquid is held in the void space between packing. And lastly, the flooding is where the liquid stops flowing altogether and collects in the top of the column due to very high gas flow. Next is the flow rates of the gas phase and the liquid phase. The gas velocity should be lower than the flooding velocity. Why? Because when the gas enters the tower from the bottom, at faster rate, there will be spaces below the tower, which causes less contact, thus resulting to less, lesser efficiency. And lastly, the pressure drop is an essential factor for the determination of tower height and diameter. This depends on the flow rate of the inlet and the outlet liquid and gas phase. The principles of absorption is discussed by the other group. But before I move on, let's have a short glimpse of these principles to refresh your memory. First in line is the material balance of the tower to derive the operating line equation. This is the operating line equation. Next is the limiting gas liquid ratio. This ratio is just a tile line from the equilibrium line to the operating line. And lastly, the temperature variations. This figure taken from a cave shows that at different temperature, the behavior of the equilibrium line is also different. Let's now go to the main event. The determination of tower height, or Z, can be determined in two ways. First, Z is computed using number of transfer units or NTU and height of transfer units HTU. Next, Z is computed using height equivalent to a theoretical plate HTP and the number of equilibrium stages or N. The determination of the number of theoretical stages is already discussed by the other group. It uses the graph on the operating line and the equilibrium line. I will first discuss how to compute Z using the number of transfer unit and the height transfer unit. Based on the equation, ZT is equal to V over S over KYA times the integral of DY over Y minus Y prime from A to B, where V over S is the volumetric flow rate, KY is the overall gas phase mass transfer, and A is the packing parameter. Y minus Y prime is the concentration difference driving force for the gas phase. As you can see, V over S over KYA is equal to the height transfer unit while the integral of y, 1 over y minus y prime is the number of transfer unit. As defined, NTU is the measure of the difficulty of the separation. It represents the change in vapor concentration per average driving force, while HTU is the measure of separation effectiveness. Simplifying, we have Z is equal to NTU times HTU. In a pack column, we have a gas phase and a liquid phase. 
for the gas phase, we can compute Z using Z is equal to HOG times NOG. HTU is just equal to HOG while NTU is equal to NOG for a gas phase. NOG is equal to Y1 minus Y2 over Y minus Y prime while HOG is equal to G over KYA times 1 minus Y prime. Y1 is just equal to the mole fraction of the solute in vapor that is in equilibrium with the liquid of mole fraction x1, while y2 is equal to the mole fraction of the solute in vapor that is in equilibrium with the liquid of mole fraction x2. Ky is the overall gas phase mass transfer coefficient. Its unit is mole over area times time times driving force. A is equal to the packing parameter. It is just equal to the area over volume. Y over Y prime is the concentration difference driving force for mass transfer in the gas phase at the bottom of column. While Y2 minus Y2 prime is the concentration difference driving force for mass transfer in the gas phase at the top of the column. If your basis is the liquid phase, Z is equal to NOL times HOL. NOL is equal to X1 minus X2 over X prime minus X, while HOL is equal to L over KXA over 1 minus X prime. X1 is equal to the mole fraction of the solute in vapor that is in equilibrium with the liquid of mole fraction Y1, while X2 is the mole fraction of the solute in vapor that is in equilibrium with the liquid of mole fraction Y2. Kx is, is the overall liquid phase mass transfer coefficient, and A is the packing parameter. L is the mass flow rate of the liquid. Using the next method, Z is computed by multiplying N, the number of equilibrium stages, times the HTP, or the height equivalent to a theoretical plate. 